And welcome to ABC Action News at 5. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jameson Jeweler. Thank you for joining us. Tampa police have now made an arrest in the New Year's Day shooting at Curtis Dixon Park. Investigators believe a 13-year-old pulled the trigger, sending a 16-year-old to the hospital. ABC Action News reporter Jada Williams is at that park with today's new developments. What started as a New Year's Day outing quickly turned. Tampa police claim a 16-year-old and a 13-year-old got into an argument Sunday night at Curtis Hickson Park. Police reports say at one point, five to six other teens started to gang up on the 16-year-old until the 13-year-old shot the other teen in his upper body. Wednesday night, police arrested the 13-year-old at his home. This is a story that Marie Scott says he hears far too often and knows far too well. That's why he hands out these pledges throughout the Tampa Bay region. It's a pledge to stop the violence. I think we had over, over 400 kids this year in St. Petersburg uh, adopt a nonviolent lifestyle because of our trainings. We got close to 5,000 pledges out there in the city uh, where it's needed. Uh, but also, more importantly, it tells us that it's not enough. It tells us it's time for all hands on deck and that we need everybody who can get involved to get involved because we're in a state of emergency. Scott was in a gang growing up in Chicago. He never wanted gun violence to be a part of his kids' lives, but his son Marquise was killed in 2019. I didn't raise my kids up in Chicago. I chose to raise them down here. So I never expected to have dinner with my son and 20 minutes later for him to be gone. Sunday's shooting is a somber reminder of the work left to do and the new trend he's seeing. I recall when I was out in the neighborhood in the city of St. Petersburg, uh, talking with the youth in those neighborhoods where, who were likely to use gun violence. And they were the ages 19 to about 25, 28. And they, they spoke specifically about being afraid of the young kids, the 13, 14, and 15 year old with guns. And to see kids at that age using guns, it's, it's, it's terrible. Scott sees it as fuel to continue his work stopping the violence. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News.